Do you know I've been making these videos, filming it all, assembling it, uploading it online for seven years now? It's extraordinary. It really is to me. And I have to be honest with you, there's one topic that every year I purposely put off. I purposely avoid and I keep putting it to the back burner because quite frankly, it's a delicate topic. JourneyToJapan.com, when I created it, was developed to show you the beauty and wonderment of Japan. All of it. There's one topic I keep avoiding, and I've decided after the seventh year, it's time to start talking about it. I'm referring to the Hiroshima Peace Museum and Memorial. If you choose to visit the city of Hiroshima, Japan, I recommend that you spend just two hours at a museum that will demonstrate the history behind the city's destruction during the Second World War. The Hiroshima Peace Museum and Memorial is located in Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park in central Hiroshima, dedicated to documenting the atomic bomb of Hiroshima during World War II. Since its opening in 1955 through the year 2005, 53 million people visited this museum. That's an average of about 1 million visitors per year, or 2,700 people every day of the week. The museum is filled with exhibitions, simple, direct images and demonstrations of a time when Hiroshima became the first city in history to be targeted by a nuclear weapon on August 6, 1945, at 8.15 a.m. Due to the volume of visitors, this museum is constantly under renovation and expansion. So it's safe to say that when you visit, expect to see a few sections blocked due to repairs and growth. I have visited this museum nine times, and I've seen contractors on site during every visit. Many displays are photo galleries of the time before, during, and after the bombing. Other sections of the museum provide an impressive display of high-tech demonstrations of this unforgettable moment in history. You'll be amazed at the intricate, sophisticated exhibits that truly clarify this undeniable experience in Japan. On a daily basis, you'll find dozens of middle school and high school students tasked with homework and school projects related to the Hiroshima bombing. Many exhibitions are interactive in both Japanese and English, so everyone can learn a great deal. Many unforgettable exhibitions involve physical items that were retrieved from the destruction. An allotment of glass jars that fuse together from the extreme heat of the blast. A child's tricycle consumed by flames. The tattered rags worn by a businessman a hospital patient log of the survivors, a lantern utterly melted by the initial blast, and a wristwatch that stopped at the moment of impact. A small gift shop is available for those wishing to purchase a book, a video, or a small memento of their visit. When you exit the museum, you'll walk along Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, dedicated to the legacy of Hiroshima. The purpose of the Peace Park is not only to memorialize the victims, but also to establish a memory of nuclear horrors and advocate world peace. You'll notice this concrete saddle-shaped monument. It covers a tomb which possesses the names of all the people killed by the bomb. The concrete arc shape represents a shelter for the souls of the victims. This very spot is visited by world leaders on momentous occasions. Soon after, you'll visit the Hiroshima Children's Peace Monument, a monument for peace to commemorate the thousands of child victims of the atomic bombing, and pays homage to a little girl named Sadako Sasaki, 
who contracted leukemia as a result of the bombing and folded 1,000 cranes before her death. Even today, 1,000 folded cranes, called a Senbazuru, is a symbol of the innocent victims. Hundreds of Senbazuru designs are contributed to this area all the time. And when you cross this street, this famous building stands today. Commonly referred to as the A-Bomb Dome, the building itself was not completely destroyed from the blast of the atomic bomb, which was vaporized in the air. It prevented the dome itself from collapsing. Everyone stops here. Everyone stares at this building. Everyone stands in awe of this structure. The Hiroshima Peace Museum and Memorial is not a typical tourist trap. It's not about having a good time. It's more than that. It's about learning. It's about empathizing. It's about uncovering the history while appreciating the immense fortitude of the Japanese spirit. It's an extraordinary thing to see. It kind of puts life in perspective in a way that you're not used to considering. Listen, if you'd like more information on the Hiroshima Peace Museum or Memorial, we've provided helpful links and information below this video. And then as always, on our website, there's the Contact Us button. Click it, you can contact me or my staff directly. For journeytojapan.com, in Hiroshima, Japan, I'm Carl Rosa. Thanks for watching.